On this episode of Mahjong Nosh and Such, I'm going to make pepperoni bread. I've made pepperoni rolls before, but there always seems to be just a little too much bread. So I found this recipe from The Needy Homesteader. I'll have a link below the video to her YouTube channel. I just want to give her a shout out and thank her for all her bread recipes. I've only just recently started making bread from scratch and this is going to be one of her recipes. So we have pizza dough ingredients here that'll all be provided below the video and we're going to use pepperoni and mozzarella cheese inside the bread and you'll see how all that comes together. So I'm going to go ahead and make the bread. We're going to mix all these ingredients together. We're going to start with the water and I'm going to start with my whisk just to get it well incorporated and then I'll switch to my dough hook. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do but that's what I'm going to do. I'm just learning how to bake bread so bear with me if I make mistakes. All right, so we've got the water in there. I'm going to add the tablespoon of the instant yeast. Then I'm going to put in the teaspoon of sugar. I guess that's what activates it. Then I'm going to add three tablespoons of olive oil. and the salt. Try to get that all incorporated. Now I'm going to take this whisk off. I'm going to add my dough hook and I'll add probably four cups of the flour right away. So that's about one. There's two. And there's three and four. All right. So we'll reserve a little bit. I'm going to bring this on up and now we will get this incorporated. A little bit wet so I'm going to add about a half a cup of flour. You want the dough to become a mass on the hook and you want the dough to be picked up from the edges of the bowl. So you don't want it to um, be sticking to the bowl. There's always going to be a little bit sticking, but you want it to try to pick up as much of that dough as possible into itself. So it's still looking a little bit wet on the bottom. I'm going to add about a quarter cup. another little bit here. It's still sticking a little bit at the very bottom.
so it's picking up oops it's kind of picking itself up off the bottom it's not very sticky at all so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on about four and I'm gonna knead it for five minutes I think we're good so I'm just going to remove this bowl so you can see there's the dough see how it kind of pulled away from the bottom there and how clean that is so I'm just going to remove that and I'm going to drizzle some olive oil in the bowl and just kind of wipe it around in the bowl okay now I'm going to form this dough into a ball so you just kind of tuck it down into itself from the underneath and I learned this from watching Heather at the Needy Homesteader. I only just started making bread maybe a year ago. I don't know what I would have done without YouTube. So see how that, that looks? It's not sticky at all. And there's the bottom. You just kind of pull it into itself from the underside there to form that ball. And then you drop it in there and just kind of roll it around. So it gets kind of coated in that oil. I think that just keeps it from getting dried out. Just kind of roll it around a little bit. Okay. There it is. It's the pizza dough. So now I'm gonna cover it with a towel and I have my oven preheated to 400 so I'm going to put this on the oven and let that rise for 30 minutes the dough is rising I'm going to set the timer to 30 minutes I just wiped down my baking sheet with a little bit of olive oil from what I used to smear it around in the bowl. And we'll let that rise and then we'll punch it down and turn it out on this surface. We'll roll it out and then we'll put the pizza bread together. I've not tried this recipe before, so this is new to me. We'll see how it turns out and check it out and see if it'll be good for a mahjong nosh. We're just waiting for the bread to finish rising any second. There it is. Here we go. Looks good to me. So I'm just going to punch it down. Can you hear that squeaking out, the air squeaking out? You just want to punch it down gently to get rid of the bubbles. Like I said, I'm new to bread making, so I'm just copying what I've seen done on the Needy Homesteader. I also watch Noreen's Kitchen. She's got some really great recipes too. Okay, I'm gonna turn this out now. Now, Heather floured her surface, but it's not sticking at all, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna spread it on out. And she just kinda spread it out with her hands at first. So I'm going to follow suit. OK, 
Okay, let's flower this just a little bit. Okay, so now I gotta kind of hold my little sheet here so it doesn't get rolled out with the dough. So I'm just gonna roll this out as much as I can. I'm gonna try to make it as big as this surface. What is this? I don't know what you call this. Some kind of work surface. Imagine you don't want to work it too much. There. Had to move you over a little bit. Okay, I think that's going to be as good as it's going to get. See what I mean about it moving? I suppose if I put down kind of a damp towel under there to keep it from moving. I'll do that next time. Cause I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be making this again, just cause I know my, the people who I'm gonna be serving this to, I know they're gonna like it. Even if it doesn't turn out perfectly. So I'm just gonna square it off a little bit, or I should say rectangle it off a little bit. All right, now we need to make an egg wash. So one egg and a tablespoon of water. Uh-oh. I got a little bit of water on there. Now we'll whisk this up. I'm going to egg wash over the surface of the dough. She said just a very light coating and this would just help the cheese stick. And then we're going to set this aside because we need to egg wash the top too. Now, I'm a little concerned because hers looked a lot bigger than mine, but I'm just going to do the best I can. This is as big as it's going to get for now. If it needs to be bigger next time, we'll adjust the plan. So now I'm going to just sprinkle mozzarella cheese, leaving about an inch oops, around the border. Maybe the long ends because the short ends are going to get punched in or poked in. I suppose you can kind of put as much or as little as you want here and you could probably change the flavor if you want different kinds of cheese, Asiago or what have you, but this is just mozzarella. Now we're going to deal out the pepperoni. So this is going to take a little while. Here we go. I will speed this part up. So I was thinking this would probably be a really fun activity for young'uns. Give them a little handful of pepperoni and let them take a row, deal it on out. And the other thing I was thinking is you could maybe even change the filling. If you're a vegetarian, use veggies. If you want to use um, Italian sausage, use Italian sausage. We are pepperoni lovers, so 
Pepperoni it is. Plus the recipe is called pepperoni bread. I suppose if you use whatever kind of meat or filling, you would just name it that kind of bread, like sauce, sausage bread, Italian sausage bread, or, you know, bell pepper bread. I don't know. You could get creative, I guess. All right. Back to dealing. I dealt out all the pepperoni. Now we're going to roll it up. So I'm just going to, she said to start really tight because you want it to be kind of like a scroll. So start tight in the, in the very middle, because this is going to be the middle of the, of the bread. So you want to start tight and just roll it in. She said it's okay if it's a little messy because it's going to all kind of cook together. But try to keep it tight. I suppose the more you make this pepperoni bread, the better it is because you learn how to work with the dough. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put more cheese on. Oh my goodness. We got to have more cheese. I remembered in a nick of time. More cheese. When you get to the edge, you pick and lift. So just pick it up and lift it and then pinch it together. So just kind of pull it on over like that. Lift from the front and pull it over. And just pinch it together. Then you take the end and you poke it in and then you lift the ends, bring it up and pinch it together. Same thing on this side. So you're going to poke it in, lift it up, pinch it together. So there we have it. And I'm hoping it's going to fit on that pan. So we're going to transfer it. I'm just going to kind of make it fit. Make it fit. Oh, you know what? She had it seamed down. We need to do it seamed down. Now for the seasoning. So I have here just an Italian seasoning blend, about a tablespoon. So I'm just going to sprinkle it any, you could use any kind of Italian herb or whatever herb you want really, but this is a blend. So just flavor it how you like it. it. Smells really good. Whatever this blend is. I'll share the blend I got. I just got it at Target. 
because it's pretty good. I've tried two of them. It, it, it was like a variety bottle. And this is the Italian blend. I think that's good. Now we're going to sprinkle with a little bit of cheese. This is Parmesan, grated Parmesan, but first I'm going to put in vents across the top. She put in about 10. There's one, two, three, four, uh oh, five. I don't think it matters. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Mm, nice even number. And now I'll go ahead and just sprinkle with some Parmesan across the top. We are going to stick it in a 400 degree oven now for 25 to 30 minutes. I set it for 25 minutes and we'll check it just to make sure the bottom's not burned. And then we'll pull it out and let it sit for about five, 10 minutes before we slice. It smells really good. I'm very excited to see how this turns out ready to come out of the oven and it smells really good but i peeked at it and it's huge look at this monster it is way way bigger than i thought it was going to be it kind of it kind of came apart. Um, maybe I put too many um, slits in it because it kind of came apart. I mean, thankfully, it didn't come completely apart, but the top is kind of split apart a bit. We'll see how it goes, but it looks beautiful. You see that? We're going to let this monster sit for a while and cool down five, 10 minutes, and then we'll slice into it and take a look inside. It smells really good. And you can see the pepperoni on top. Heather's did not look like this. So it's a recipe I'm going to need to perfect, but I think it'll be good regardless. I'm excited. It definitely looks like pepperoni bread. All right, I think we're gonna cut into it. It's been sitting for about five minutes. Now, when Heather cut into it, the, the first maybe inch or two is going to be mostly bread. So I'm just gonna cut that off. And I'm just gonna cut straight across. Okay, you're really not supposed to cut into hot bread and it's still steaming hot. And you can see there, there's a lot of bread there. Let's put that to the side here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut another piece here. There we go. Here it is. That's the spiraling. That piece. You can kind of see right there. So I'm going to cut a few slices here. I don't want to smash it.
Look at that. Does that look yummy? I guess I'll go ahead and maybe put one, two, I guess only four will fit on there. I think I would need one of my longer platters to serve this for a party. Let's see here. They're kind of smaller from the first slice. I think I'll put this bigger piece right here on the end. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I definitely would need to serve this on a bigger platter. It looks really good and it sure does smell delicious. I got this um, Bertoli, um, I don't know, I guess you could call it a marinara. Olive oil and garlic for dipping, optional. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a taste test. I'm going in. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Fresh bread, lots of pepperoni and cheese. It's like a pepperoni lover's bread. It's like a rolled up pizza. Very good. Now, I don't know if this will be a good mahjong nosh, but I would try it. It's really, really good. And I think it's really pretty too. This is definitely a keeper recipe. It's delicious. And here's a shout out to Heather at The Needy Homesteader. Thanks for sharing the recipe. Between now and the next episode of Mahjong Nosh and Such, may all your picks be keepers. I'm gonna go in for another dip. Mm.